Hi, Maria here with a fun uh, polymer clay brooch uh, tutorial today. So I'm using Super Sculpty, some semi-precious stones, some faces, but I decided to make a face out of the Super Sculpty instead, but you can make faces ahead of time. Also use the bacon bond to keep everything glued together. And I'm using a mold for the face. So at first you gotta knead it pretty good. It's a strong clay. It's a lot tougher than uh, the uh, Sculpey 3, for instance. So I, I knead it out to about um, an eighth of an inch, maybe a little thicker than that. And cut freeform cutting out uh, an oval shape. It doesn't have to be perfect because you won't see a lot of this background, but you have to have a good uh, flat background for for the embellishments. So I was looking at to see if that face would look good, but it's too small. So I'm going to use this other mold that you can't find anymore to buy. But uh, so it's getting very old. You can make a, a thin uh, slab of uh, clay like that because uh, the face will be held down um, and surrounded by a lot of clay. So it would, it's not very, um, you know, prone to break, but of course it could, but you can make it just thick, uh, even thickness throughout and make it like a slab instead of molded it thinly like this. It's hard to explain, but and then I just use um, bacon bond or liquid Sculpey to attach everything. Uh, I decided to check all these stones for what to use. I, I went for a citrine because it's a happy stone and it's also positive vibes. So. That's what we need in this day and age, right? So I covered the whole thing. When it when it's baked, you cannot see that even if it was outside the edges. It bakes with the clay, and I press down uh, the stone as far into the background as I can. And here I'm making some. Uh, Thin stakes. Super Sculpey is really easy to work with. I don't know that it come in any other color, but I always uh, paint my art anyway. So, so you can see here, I'm, I'm rolling all the snakes around the stone and over it to hold it down, make sure it's securely attached. I haven't made a whole lot of them, but I made some for my Etsy shop and they sold okay. I'm not much into jewelry, but this is very different kind of jewelry. So making a braid here. If you like to work with the clay to challenge yourself to do something different. That's how we learn what works and what doesn't. It's a, it's a good way to know how the material acts 
in different situations. I use a little ball pointed tool, whatever that's called, glue, I mean a clay tool. And here I'm adding more around the citrine. I like your little sweet face. I sell a lot of hand painted faces in my Etsy shop. They're bigger and they're for spirit dolls, but it's the same principle. So underneath I'm using an old uh, cutting mat, you know, those things you can use for quilt making. And uh, I'm using it for, um, to, so I don't destroy my exacto knife. But I'm using the underside so I can, actually use the other side for for cleaner stuff. And I add a little more hair or whatever it is. Here I had baked it uh, 275 degrees for 30 minutes because it is uh, pretty thick. And here I, you can see, this is how I start painting the faces. It looks horrible, but it all the, you never have to deal with the crevices and the lines on the face, the lips and stuff. When you start with a dark color, most people save it to the end, which you can do, of course, but uh, I find this to be easier, actually. I probably paint the face with all in all, maybe five layers, so it's a lot, but uh, what starts out ugly turns into a smooth skin surface. I decided to go with earthy tones like uh, like little branches and uh, twigs in green and then the background here is a uh, burnt umber I think. No, burnt sienna. And uh, they add little colorful berries or flowers, whatever you want to call them. So as you can see, I, I mean, I speeded up this video, but I, I go pretty quickly over everything, even if I miss paint and I get paint sloughed in all over the place on the pieces because in the end you paint over everything uh, and and there are no 
I'm very careful to get the paint to be where it's supposed to be in the end. But the first coat you can just start out filling in. Here I'm using a ble an unbleached titan white. Um, that has, uh, for a skin tone, it's like you almost, well, it's an off-white, you can see it somewhat. But there's always that, uh, a little bit of a dark un un underneath that, you, that shines through. And it will keep, uh, keep that way, though it gets very subtle at the end. So here I'm painting her hair green, or if it is branches, you know, like spring, summer branches for hair. So I'm, it's important to go in all the crevices and if you look it from the side, underneath, because there's nothing worse than, than looking at the paint job where the bare um, sorry, my, my phone was ringing. That the uh, that the bare clay shows through. So I really want to. Um, Make sure I get it everywhere, even though it, the paint goes in other places where it's not supposed to go. And here is another third coat on the face with the uh, unbleached white. And you can still see a little bit of the dark through. And then I had some paint pen to paint red on the lips. Here I'm going with the bright white in the highlighted area of the face. So that's the fourth coat. And now I have, I have slopped paint in places where they're not supposed to go. So now I'm painting and kind of cleaning up the mess. So the brooch is about uh, two and a, maybe two and a quarter inches long and and one and a quarter inch or maybe one and a half inch wide. You can of course make it smaller or larger depending on what you want to add on to it. So it ends up probably being at least three coats of paint when all is said and done on the colored stuff. And then uh, the face is at least five coats. But the, the coats add richness, so you cannot put too much paint on there. Picky, picky. I like that color combination with the with the golden citrine. It's kind of sparkles, and you got your accents in red and gold, and some green and uh, the brown. Here I'm now going back and painting some more unbleached white around the edges of the face. And a bit of white and again, just as a last. Make sure that the background looks good too, and the edges.
And here I'm just uh, going to add a little gold shimmer to the whole thing because it really makes things pop. And the face, so even I do it a little carefully on the face, not too much. But it makes all the highlights sparkle with that little gold. I love gold. And then I have a brooch pin for the back, a clasp. I don't know what they call. And I didn't paint the back because I want to glue this before I paint because the paint otherwise kind of get, leaves the skin that might be pulled off with the pen. So I used uh, E6000 jewelry glue and it's going to be on there like welded. And then I just paint around just one coat. And then you can sign it on the back if you want to. Makes a great gift. Well, thank you so much for watching.